Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, today we're gonna discuss about troubleshooting our orchid problems. On a daily basis, I get many, many comments with people having some issues with their orchids, and I do try to reply every day to as many comments as I can and at least point them in the right direction. And today I decided to make a compilation of the most common problems or common questions that I get, troubleshooting them and hopefully point you in the right direction or give you an idea of what's happening to your orchid. So the first problem is, my orchid has really floppy leaves and kinda leathery. What is happening to my orchid? Well, floppy and leathery leaves, more visible on Phalaenopsis orchids in general, are a sign of dehydration. And dehydration can have two causes. One, you're not watering your orchid enough. And second, your orchid doesn't have enough roots to properly hydrate herself, no matter how much you water. So the way to know which of these possibilities apply to your orchid is to increase the watering regime. If nothing improves in two or three days, then you might actually be dealing with a lack of roots, case in which you need to unpot the orchid, check the root system, cut away everything that is dead, and figure out what actually caused the root death. It might be bad medium, might be some pests in the medium, and so on. But to give you the answer of what's causing limpy leathery leaves is dehydration. P.S. If you hear some weird noises in the background, it's my parrot Milo. I don't know him too well yet, so I'm spying on him through Skype. So Yeah, that's him. So I have my Skype running on my laptop right now, and it's filming whatever's happening in the room. I left him alone, he has some issues with being alone. Anyway, sorry for that little intervention, but yeah, don't mind the noises in the background. Okay, the second question. My orchid is having yellow leaves. What's happening? What's wrong with my orchid? Well, there are two possibilities here. One, normal shedding of the leaves, because yes, orchids do shed their leaves regularly, and this is no reason to worry. So in the case of Phalaenopsis orchid, usually they lose one or two leaves from the very bottom of the orchid. This is normal in Phalaenopsis orchids, but not only, in Sympodial orchids as well, the older leaves tend to die off regularly, but new leaves are produced, or new pseudobulbs in the case of Sympodial orchids. So if you have one or two leaves at the base or on old pseudobulbs, it's probably normal. However, if you have multiple leaves going upwards on a Phalaenopsis orchid, yellowing, or new leaves on a Sympodial orchid, it is a reason to worry, and you should investigate possible causes. Now, the possible causes can be, in most instances, the stem of the orchid being affected, or the pseudobulbs of the orchid. Sometimes it happens that due to dehydration, they will start to lose some leaves as well, and the cause of that is dehydration. But to answer to the question, some leaves falling off, the older leaves, are pretty normal, one or two. But if more leaves start to fall upwards on new growth, that's a sign to worry and to investigate further. The next question is, my orchid has some spots. What does it mean? Is my orchid sick? Well, there might be multiple reasons why your orchid has spots. Let's start with the safe one. Some orchids naturally have some spotting. Both Phalaenopsis orchids, Oncidiums and other orchids might have natural spotting. In this case, the spotting is rather dark purple than brown or very dark like black colors. Also, they are not raised or indented. They seem flush with the leaf, so they're more like freckles on an orchid. So this pigmentation might actually be normal. What you can do is actually research your orchid, look for pictures and see if other orchids of the same family have the very same spots. Other causes can include bacterial or fungal disease. And I do have a video on this issue and how to treat it in the description below, so feel free to check it out to learn more. In this case, pretty much you need to cut the affected tissue. Other times you might notice discolorations on your leaves. These can actually be sunburns. However, brown spots can be caused by sunburns as well. So in this case, make sure your orchid is not sitting in direct hot sun. Milo is talkative today, sorry for that. Alrighty, I muted Milo. So, some spots on the leaves, even if they're due to some infections in the past, might be harmless today. If they don't spread and stay like this for months and months, most probably the spots were caused by some infections that didn't really harm the orchid. And these are the remains. In this case, you don't really need to do anything about it. If they don't spread, they will just affect the orchid visibly to you. But other than that, they really don't affect the orchid and you shouldn't really cut the leaf if 
if the majority of it is perfectly functional. Other times they might be caused by some pests. And I do have a more extensive video, you can check out the description down below, in which I talk about the signs to look out for, the pests in general, and uh, so on. So if you're interested in this subject, do check the uh, description below and you will be able to see what type of damage pests can cause. Okay, the next question that I get a lot is why are my orchid roots dying all of a sudden? And well, this is a very tricky question to answer because causes might be multiple. Starting with not being able to acclimate to your new medium, if you are changing an orchid from a type of medium to a different type of medium, for example, sphagnum moss to bark or vice versa, and ending with inadequate medium. Maybe it's not suited for your environment, maybe it's old, maybe it's toxic, maybe it has pests and so on. So in this instance, you need to check for multiple signs or multiple causes on your orchid. There isn't one single issue. In any case, I do have more videos in which I discuss some possible causes in the description down below. If you do check the description, you'll find quite a lot of videos that I am going to share with you because I did discuss about these problems. Right now, I'm just concentrating all of them in this video. In any case, if your orchid suffers some root loss, it's not necessarily a reason to panic, orchids in general, the ones that are commonly available, are really hardy. And given the proper conditions and proper care, they will grow new roots that will be acclimated to your environment, your medium, and so on. In any case, if your orchid suffers from some root loss, do expect some dehydration signs as well, like floppy leaves or a few yellowing leaves, depends on your orchid. However, it is important to investigate the cause of the root death because if you don't eliminate the cause, there is really no chance of your orchid bouncing back. So check for inappropriate medium. If it's a new orchid and you never repotted it, I strongly suggest that you do repot it. Check the root system, see if the medium is old, broken down, see if it has snails or pests or stuff like that. So start with the medium. Also check the pot as well, see if it has drainage holes and even extra aeration holes. Make sure it is suited for orchid growing every pot should have drainage holes whether it's one big hole at the bottom or multiple holes depends on the pot you are using and overall do pay attention to these external factors which can contribute to root loss on orchids. The next frequent question I get asked is why is my orchid losing buds? What's happening? Well, we call this bud blast. Pretty much it means that buds yellow and fall off before they even have a chance to open. Now, this is quite frequent when you are purchasing a new orchid. You take it from the environment of the store, you bring it to your environment and it just so happens that it's very different. The orchid will respond with the loss of some buds because it is putting energy into acclimating to your new environment, maybe new setup, maybe you just repotted it and so on. It's not a rule that they will all lose buds when you bring them home or you repot them. However, sometimes it happens. So this is the most common reason why orchids lose buds. And I do have a video on the subject, a more extensive video. You can find it in the description below, of course. However, older orchids can suffer from bud blast as well. And here we can talk about maybe some other causes like the orchid not being completely healthy. And I do have an example here. You can see this orchid is slightly dehydrated. It is still recovering from transport it is still trying to adapt to this new medium, but it did put out some flowers. As you can see though, I had a few buds blasting, so it's understandable in this orchid situation why she lost buds. However, if your orchid didn't suffer stress recently, you might want to check that the medium is okay, the roots are okay, check the leaves, the pseudobulbs for dehydration signs, wrinkles as you can see in the pseudobulbs and so on, because most probably it's something related with its medium, with its roots and with its health. If the orchid is however in order and healthy, then check external signs. Sometimes buds blast if they have cold airs or very hot airs around them. Also, prolonged exposure to strong sunlight might cause the buds to drop as well. Low humidity, again, can cause the buds to drop as well. So if your orchid is perfectly healthy, it is an older orchid perfectly acclimated to your environment, check for some external factors that might have affected the buds. 
As previous, I have another video on why buds and flowers drop prematurely, so you can check the description below. Another question is why do flowers drop on my orchid? Well, there might be two possible reasons. The most common of all, believe it or not, is that they simply reached the end of their life. Flowers are not intended to live indefinitely, although orchids can hold on to them for a few months in the case of Phalaenopsis orchids, but eventually they will drop. So if they've been in bloom for you for the past three months and they're starting to drop, yeah, it's pretty normal, don't worry. In the case of Oncidiums, they drop even faster, maybe in two weeks, three weeks, or in a week, depends how much they have been in bloom prior to you purchasing it. If, however, it is not a new orchid and it is established, you again need to check the overall health of the orchid. Make sure it's not dehydrated, make sure the roots are okay, medium is okay, just like in the previous case I talked about. Flowers are not necessarily an indication of health issues, so if your orchid is perfectly fine, again, check for those external factors that might have occurred, like hot or cold air drafts, also sun exposure, low humidity, um, a low humidity in the pot as well, and so on. 